All right, people, we are here for the return of Shiny Sunday. So, using this nice and powerful Goliath score that I got from my buddy Raymond from the Battle Hub Discord, um, we also got this Shiny Iron Valiant that I actually uh, hunted myself with the sandwich method. And um, we got a returning Shiny Sunday member, uh, Eddie Six from back in the Sword and Shield days. So, uh, hype to get back into it. Hopefully I have some more shinies ready. I've got a lot of them I just have to use in battles. Uh, going against Pokemaster from the Discord. And uh, they got a very powerful team. They got the Como. They've got the Yon Mega. They got a bunch of... Uh, they got the Glamour. They can set up a bunch of hazards. And the Golden Go that can keep them up. Uh, full disclosure, I'm recording this post-com. I was recording it live-com. I'm not sure what happened with the audio that it just didn't sync up when I went back in. It was like, I don't know if, what happened to it. Like it got shortened or something. It wasn't recording. I don't know what was up the, with the application, but something made it to where no matter where I tried to align it, it just didn't fit. It would, The audio would line up in one part and wouldn't line up in the other. So I'm just going to record this here. Uh, as I'm watching it. So we've got the lead Goliath score versus the Yon Mega. And I'm thinking to myself, well, the uh, Goliath score is not particularly known for having the best defenses. Obviously, I could go for the Ice Fang, but it's probably not going to kill. Uh, I'd rather be able to come in at some point later, get my Poison Heal safely. I don't want to take a bunch of chip damage on this thing because I need Goliath score to be healthy to face down things like the Mouscarada. So I'm like, I would go Heatran, but this thing has the ability to be Tinted Lens, and a Choice Specs Tinted Lens to a Heatran could definitely hurt, especially if they decide to like Terra Flying or something like that, so I'm kind of hesitant to switch it in. But at the same time, I'm thinking, well, the Heatran's there for things just like this, and uh, oh, actually my Joy-Con disconnected too, my bad, that's why I was taking so long. Because my Joy-Con disconnected and I had to go up and hurry up and make a connect. And was finally able to get it in at the last second. So switched out into Krakatoa, the Heatran. So we're going to take this hit. And I'm going to see based off the... Well, we'll, we'll see in a second. You can tell already by the damage. That's not 10 to lens damage. And um, you can tell by in a second here whenever we see... Yep, there's the speed boost that uh, they're not 10 to lens. So this looks like the freest rocks I've ever seen personally. They could tear a ground here, but based off that air slash damage, even if I was to like multiply that by eight, I'm fairly confident that I would be able to live. Well, I guess it would be a little bit more than eight though, because Terra Blast is 80, air slash is like 75. Either way. So I'm gonna go for some nice free rocks here. We'll see what they want to go out into. And then whenever they go out into, I could potentially uh, Magma Storm. I could do some other stuff to them. So they're going to switch out. If that thing is not heavy duty boots, which I'm sure that it is, I'm thinking to myself, uh, it's going to take 50% of its not though. They go out into Glamora. I'm like, okay. Uh, interesting strategy here. Because, uh, well, they're probably trying to bluff the Earth Power, right? I know that they go for earth power here but i'm also thinking to myself well i think i was trying to check for the air balloon because i, I think i wasn't sure if i saw it but i'm gonna go for the earth power i'm fairly certain i could live at earth power if they go for it because of my spadef uh they also go for rocks themselves i just mainly don't want them to be able to get a moral spin off so i want to pressure them we bring them down to their sash which you know if they're not uh if they're not like choice scarf or air balloon they're usually going to be sash so, I'm going to go for another one. They actually end up going for a power gym. Maybe they thought I was going to switch. Uh, that actually did a good chunk. But, you got to keep in mind, that's also stab and earth power is not. Although earth power is slightly stronger, base 90 versus base 80. But I feel like I could live in earth power. Probably not too well. I would probably be very low probably in the red but with my max hp max pedef it being a non-stab move i could live it that's just how powerful heatran is all right so now i've got the como this is actually kind of a prelude to my drafting i'm not sure if, if i drafted this uh for or after the demolition force for the battle hub draft league but 
Yeah, definitely a prelude. Haven't had any of my battles yet or anything like that, but you know, the Iron Valley Heatran core is fire, dude. So, at this point, uh, they've gone Como. They could be physical, they could be special. I don't know what they are. And I'm like, okay, well, obviously, because I know that this thing's about to be Terra Steel, right? If the because if the Como is not Terra Steel, then the Iron Valley is just gonna Moon Blast him. It is Terra Steel. It's gonna be close combat. It so either way, we're good. I've, I have not seen a Terra Poison Como personally. They're gonna go for the Clang or a Soul. So like, okay, they're a special set. That's fine. Obviously, I could have just gone hard Iron Valley, but I didn't want to risk them predicting that. And me losing my way of beating it. I figure the much safer way would just be alright. Dot and Weezing. Weezing can't do much this game. So I'm just gonna let them do what they wanna do. And then we bring out the booster Iron Valley. And then we take care of business. They do, of course, have the uh, the defense boost. Also, I wanted to bait out the Terra. That's another thing. Once I bait out the Terra, then there's no 50 50s. You know, because it's like, well, are they gonna Moon Blast? Or are they gonna. Or, I mean, are they gonna. Stay normal or are they gonna Terra, you know? So we baited out the Terra, so now there's no questioning it. This isn't such a nice thing that after you Terra, you can't go back. You know, you're stuck. So perfect situation for me. So they fall into my trap. So they are going to be able to obviously take out the Weezing. No way I'm living a plus two stab flash cannon. So we're gonna go down here. And then we're going to bring out our nice and powerful Booster Iron Valiant. Now, obviously once I get, uh, once I use up the booster, uh, I can't get the speed boost again. But ideally this forces this thing out and then they can't really set up again. Because uh, then they would have to take another 33%. I mean they could, but... The odds of the beginning of the setup again is pretty low, so I'm gonna Terra just in case, I guess. Not really sure why I would Terra. Maybe I just want to show it off. You know what I mean? Because I've got the Chrome going on, so yeah. Because also, if they vacuum wave for some reason and then I Terra steal, I could die. I would, I would definitely die. There's no question. It's only 60 a special defense, so. Iron Valiant would definitely die to a vacuum wave, but I'm certain that they're not going to go for it. So, perhaps a bit of a waste of Terra on my part. Because now they know that I'm Terra Steel already. But you know me, I'm, uh, sometimes I just trigger happy. I just want to go for it. And uh, we're going to bring out the Terra Steel Iron Valiant right now. So obviously into the Pheasant Dippity. We're not going to be doing a whole lot, but thankfully, that's why we have the Terra Blast, because I prepared for a situation just like this, where Pheasant Zippity might come in. I mean, I didn't know they were going to have Pheasant Zippity, but I just figured it was good for Steel types to have, or I mean for opposing fairies. So we're going to end with this nice big Terra Blast. Pheasant Zippity's defense is not nearly as high as its special defense, and we are hitting on the physical side. So. Bada bing, bada boom, this thing goes down. Alright. Glade is pretty much kind of, or not really Glade. Iron Valiant's kind of transparent at this point with its, with its Terra, it's pretty clean. So the Goldigo comes in, so this is actually one of the few things that I cannot hit. Uh, one of the few things that I can't hit. Glad that they sacked off as dipping and didn't just go out into this, because that definitely could have been a huge threat. But we do have the power of uh oh we actually go Tapu Boom Boom here, I guess. Because I am an assault vest set. Uh I'm reusing my my VGC Tapu Boom Boom. Well, I mean it's the same one from Gen 8 from Sword and Shield, but I repurposed the EVs to max HP, max attack for Peoria. And um I didn't feel like changing it back after for the battle, so maybe I should breed another one. Or maybe I should just change the EVs back on this thing. So I'm gonna hit him with a knockoff. I think we can knock off whatever wants to come in. Although I guess if the Como comes in, we do absolutely. We actually go for a, a nasty plot. Jeez, look at greedy over there. Like I have high horsepower. Same with the knockoff, though it is that classic super duper bulky Golden Go. 
We're going to surprise him, though, because we are max HP the uh, assault vest, so... I think we go for Stomping Tantrum. Although, High Horsepower is probably a lot better, but like I said, this is the VGC one, so... Not quite as good. My Horsepower should be doing a lot more than Stomping Tantrum. Still does a decent chunk. So yeah, at this point, I think Stomping Tantrum is doing less than their... Uh, recovers and not only that unfortunately my grassy terrain is healing them up so might have just been better for me to go hard into uh, Heatran they are gonna get the shadow ball off but because of our max HP assault vest we are able to survive so very nice so Willa boom lives to see another day and be able to grassy glide something in the future uh, I'm fairly certain that juice should be able to outspeed this thing because of how it's enormously, or how much they've invested into bulk on this golden kill, but I can't really hit them because my the grassy terrain is uh, weakening my poor Gliscor's earthquake. So I have no choice but to go Krakatoa, though I will be able to get some nice HP recovery from the grassy terrain and the leftovers, which is nice. So at least it's healing up Krakatoa. We uh, are only two times a week to earthquake at this point. I'm gonna try to magma storm him. Though, I mean, I don't really see a situation where they stay in here, personally. But we force them out. They're going to take some rocks. I can't believe I built this team without any hazardable. Seriously? Well, keep in mind, my team building hasn't been that great lately. I've kind of just been throwing some mods together. So, I guess I kind of wanted a bit, a bit of a more fun team. Even though I'm running Iron Valley Heatran, so it's kind of try-hard. But at the same time, I have SD Facade Gliscor. Which is also very, I mean, fairly strong in its own right. But, you know, this might be another situation where my Joy-Cons unfortunately disconnected. So sorry to say, folks. So, yeah, they're going to withdraw the Golden Go. Gonna bring out the Yon Mega. As long as we land this Magma Storm, this is a dead Yon Mega. This kills probably 10 Yon Megas, honestly. And, uh, yep, down it goes. Good night, sir. Critical hit, that crit did not matter in the slightest. As uh, it was confirmed to be heavy duty boots. So, once again, we're going to get the double recovery. The double edged sword. You're able to heal a lot on your side, but then I'm giving recovery to the golden go as well. But we at least knocked off its air balloon for the future. So, Tomo comes in. And uh, based on their Clangor Soul set um, and the Throat Spray, I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure they're just fully special. So I'm just going to try to land another Magma Storm. Which could be risky, because if I miss this, then uh, they could probably 2 a KO me. Yeah, it does a lot, but uh, we are a Spadef Heat Chance, so we're able to tank it. And thankfully, we land the, the Magma Storm there, so. We've landed two so far. I'm kind of relying on Heatran a lot to get these hits in but we're able to do it and we're able to get some more leftovers recovery let's think about heatran doing its thing as long as it has those leftovers dude this thing never <laughs> dies i'm telling you bring out the mouse karata now this thing could knock me off and uh get me pretty darn shipped so i think i'm gonna protect scout what they go for because most of the time these things are choice in some way so, they do indeed go for the knockoff. And uh, I would bring my Gliscor in, but it hasn't been poisoned yet. Because if, uh, if I was, if I did have the poison heal active, then it wouldn't be a problem. But I don't yet, so. They did end up locking themselves into knockoff, though. Which means I could easily go in Iron Valiant. I know the only problem with that is, though... It just easily invites in the Golden Go, right? Because at this point, they pretty much know my set. They know I don't really have... I don't... Uh, or well, they know that I switched versus them, so I know I can't have knockoff. Oh, I Terra Steel, so I don't need to resist it anymore. I, I, so I think I thought I was going to take that knockoff a lot better, but I actually didn't. Oh, and they're not Scarf, my bad. It's actually Flower Trick. Which I was kind of surprised by. Maybe they thought I was going to go on to something else. But, um... 
at this point I I don't know why I SD'd there I'm gonna be honest folks I think I was just kind of sacking this thing off I definitely could have gotten at least a spirit break in it would have lowered the golden go special attack so choke on my part for uh, doing that not sure why I did it Maybe I thought that they were going to go for the Sucker Punch and I could try to outplay it, but they didn't go for it, so... It leads me to think that they don't have Sucker Punch. Uh, definitely should have uh, Spirit Break, or the, yeah. Just in case they go Golden Go. This is kind of a curious situation. I don't want to go Top of Boom Boom because it's going to increase their Flower Tricks, but at the same time, Krakatoa... It's going to have a hard time beating this thing too. Manaphy probably doesn't live a flower chick, but maybe it does. Oh, I'm stupid. They didn't take any rocks damage, so I know they're heavy duty boots. Yeah, I would love if they could take some rocks shit, but, you know. What I did have as a removal, the Eddie 6 had defog, right? I think so. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm going to try to bait them into going for the flower trick here. I know it's going to make Gliscor take a big turn of damage, but at the same time, I don't want to risk it. I could also go Heatran, which is what I probably should have done. Probably should have gone Heatran, like gone for Protect, and then gone for a Magma Storm after getting some more leftovers recovery. That does such a massive amount. I honestly didn't think that flower trick was going to do that much. I am a pretty defensive Gliscor. Man, that's just such a huge amount. And at this point, I don't think I can live the next one. But they actually go for a spike. A bit of a misplay on your part there, but I think you definitely should have gone for Flower Trick. Just like I should have uh, Spirit Break this thing when I had the chance. I am going to get some Poison Heal activated, thankfully. So we at least did get some chip. That facade did absolutely nothing. I get that it's only... Uh... It's not stab, it's just 140 base power, and I don't really have any attack investment, but I was just expecting it to do a lot more. But uh, I understand why it might not. And uh, the Ice Fang isn't going to do much more either, because it's only going to go to 130, whereas the saw it is 140. So, we take the Flower Trick, they just barely hang on. I don't think I could take another one. So at this point, that, that almost looked like a min-max roll. Like, why did that first flower trick do so much? Why I get, I switched in on rocks, but just did so much less. So yeah, at this point, I'm kind of forced to go out into Heatran. I actually withdraw the Mouse They probably are going to try to go into Yup the Golden Go. But uh, they're going to take some nice rocks. Meanwhile, we're going to go back. Into our Heatran. Take some big rocks, Chip. Oh, and the spikes, too. The spikes are crucial, dude. At this point, the spikes are so freaking crucial. So. Here, we're going to try to... I mean, here's the thing. If we land this Magma... They only have two Pokemon left. That's the thing. It's just the Golden Go and the Mouse Karata. Like, this Mouse Karata just goes in versus my team. That was the problem. But it's on 1 HP, right? So all I have to do is Grassy Glide it. Uh, so I'm trying to go for this Magma Storm. Because I know if I land it, I can win. Uh, they go for the big Shadow Ball. They are able to outspeed me. And uh, I actually end up missing. I'm like, dang, dude. And I'm not even sure if uh, two turns of Leftovers Recovery after or Protect is going to be enough to save me here. So I'm like, well, looking back, I probably should have gone for Earth Power. I don't think it would have killed because of how much uh, defense investment they have. But it's fine. We're going to go down here. And, um... Yeah, here I'm going to go Gliscor. Which, looking back, I probably should have just gone Manaphy and tried to whittle it down some more. Because if I bring in the Manaphy versus the Miascarada, yeah, it's going to lose. But at least the Manaphy can beat the Golden Go. But I went juiced because I thought, well, maybe this Earthquake is going to kill this thing. And then maybe I can live the Flower Trick after the Poison Hill. But nope, it just barely hangs on. Just the littlest bit of more chip. 
if it came in on one more time from rocks, it would have died. Or if even it just took a, the Earth Power ship, it would have been dead. But it's just so freaking close. So at this point, I'm going to have Manaphy do something. I honestly really wanted Manaphy to do something in this game. Um, I, I want to use this thing before it gets banned. Which I know it probably will. But, uh... It didn't get to do much. All it's going to get to do here is uh, get to Scald. And uh, I guess it's a bit of a spoiler. Because you guys haven't seen it yet. But we all know what's going to happen. That uh, this this Meowskirad is about to come in and flower trick me. We are going to get the recovery. I could probably live it. If I was max HP. Or if not, then max HP, max defense. But I'm max special attack, max speed, timid. So... Even with my natural bulk, I'm like, eh. Nuskarot is strong, dude. And it's a move that always crits. Like, I need to look up Flower Trick's base power. Is it 90? Let me look it up. Because I'm going to multiply my 1.5. So we got Meowskarada. Let's move Flower Trick base 70. So that's like 105, right? Yeah. So, pretty strong grass move. So, we're going to take the point stones. Barely able to hang on after all those turns of... Uh, they just needed one more spike. And they had it. But it was not enough. And I'm going to go for the grassy glide here. And I just have to hope they don't have sucker punch. And thankfully they do not. Yeah, knock off. Uh, flower trick. U-turn spikes is probably what it was. No sucker. So, that's going to be GG's to Chris. That was a super epic, super close battle. Probably one of the closest battles I've had in such a long time. Definitely some misplays on my part, but you know, I don't know, I've been, I've been misplaying so much, eventually, at some point, it's got to stop. I've got I've to stop making these misplays. That's okay. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know uh, what mod you want to feature in Shiny Sunday. Next time, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.